It finally happened. Someone made a game about me. Giraffe Town, a game about a giraffe named Giraffe. With slippery feet. And why do I relate to this so much? Because contrary to what I look like on camera, I'm a, I'm a tall dude. I got lanky limbs. I got some high kicks. And honestly, I don't want to admit to it, but I am extremely clumsy. Clumsy? Clumsily. Clumsy. I fall a lot. Now, before we get totally started into this review, full disclosure, I have to say this purely for ethical reasons, but Samer Kadib, who made this game, is a strong staple in my community, my YouTube channel community, and it just wouldn't have felt right if I didn't mention that in some way, shape, or form, I know the developer to some degree. All of that said, I did purchase this game with my own money and him being a part of my community did not play a role in me choosing to get this. Furthermore, Samer did give me three codes to give away for this game, so stay till the end of the video or skip to it, whatever your heart desires, and figure out how you can have this game for free. So at face value, Giraffe Town is very simply about a giraffe with slippery feet who wants to find love literally a pop star named love and now in order to meet love giraffe must journey to the other side of town overcoming the disability that was bestowed upon him at birth his slippery feet and go through a very complicated very difficult enraging street with a lot of potholes and things missing and uh yeah now, despite its charmingly wholesome plot, there is definitely more beneath the surface of what is presented in this game. And I can wholeheartedly say it is unlike anything I have ever played. There are certain parts of this game that aren't only genuinely inspiring, but also horrifying, disturbing, and hilarious. Now, right from the start, Samer has a way of setting up scenes with a very distinct and spooky, unsettling atmosphere and a sense of lingering awkwardness that just makes you a little uncomfortable. And this game takes completely unexpected turns that I had zero chance of predicting in any way, shape, or form. The moment I finally had a grasp on the slippery feet, rage-like gameplay, something else was introduced that almost made me feel like I was playing a different game entirely. And that isn't even to mention the truly bizarre and unsettling characters that are introduced along Draft's journey. So much so that it's the very reason why I chose not to do a Let's Play of this game. And in fact, I strongly suggest avoiding Let's Plays of this game or watching any streams because there are things in this game that genuinely left me in surprise, shock, and awe. And they're just something that you have to find out for yourself. Now, this game is extraordinarily difficult and because it's constantly changing its mechanics, it never becomes easy. In fact, it's always getting harder and the game is super hard. Like controller breaking, rage fit inducing hard. Oh my God. And though I know that was kind of the intention Samer had and also kind of I think the appeal of the game, I think it's also its biggest flaw. If it wasn't for the game's weird, bizarre, cryptic atmosphere and spooky, ominous characters, 
it is very unlikely that I would have cared to progress in this game given it's the mechanics that it introduces. But then again, I don't actually know if the game would have had the same lasting appeal to me unless it had that really difficult gameplay to force me to get further and see whatever it is, is that is lingering beneath the world of Giraffe Town. Now, of course, the game is not without its flaws in terms of minor bugs and control issues and stuff like that, but I put this game in the exact same wheelhouse as a game like Silvio under the game that I truly adore. It's one of those kind of flawlessly imperfect games that just has so much charm, but also so much heart. And because of that, I think Samur is one of my favorite game developers right now. And I have nothing but extreme anticipation for whatever it is he's going to do next because I can only see what he's going to do is going to go up from here. And it's just really weird. And I like that. Okay, now for the code giveaway. Follow me on either Instagram or Twitter. If you're following me already, thank you. It means a lot. Message me, direct message me on one of those and tell me what you think is upstairs in the mysterious spiral staircase room. First three people to do that, I will give a code to. And I think you should cherish this game because it is something to be cherished. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you don't already know, I am Kurt Indovina. If you're interested in checking out Giraffe Town, I will have a link in the description below. And also, good luck on getting a code. I will be happy to give it to you. Just don't let it become if you're, you know, a part of the, the backlog that backlogs are. Don't, don't do it, play the game. Get the code, play the game, be a giraffe, and find love. Okay, that's it. Till next time, bye.